We live or live. Hi guys. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. Um, I'm just here to say hey um, because I haven't said hey in a long time. So, hi. How are you? I hope you're doing great in the midst of... Um, <laughs> um, in the midst of this hellish world we live in at this point. Um, but... I'm so glad you're here. Glad you're a subscriber. Just wanted to let you know that, you know, I do exist. I, I'm a person. There's, you know, there's skin and bones and all that kind of good stuff. So, yeah. Um, anyways, and I also wanted to tell you guys how much I appreciate you and uh, let you know that it's nice to have a family that appreciates the same weird things I do. Um, you know. How you want to share your excitement for things. So I love reading the comments. Definitely love reading the comments. Um, yeah, because when I bring stuff home, um, like from the antique store or something, or order something online, and I show my family, you know, the things that I've gotten. Um, mm, nothing. Uh, yeah, that's something you would buy as I would normally get or that's weird, or why did you buy that kind of thing? So, it's really nice to talk to you guys, even though, you know, we're like not in the same room kind of thing. But, um, so glad you're here, so glad you're a subscriber. Um, this video is a haul video. I did get a few things, and of course, I brought more stuff for myself. I don't know. Yeah. There needs to be something like AA for, you know how they have the drinking, the gambling, you know, people have addictions. I mean, there's people that eat freaking chapstick and stuff like that. So why don't they have some kind of group support for people who have issues with buying cool stuff? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'd go to one or not. I'd have to probably pee. <laughs> I'd have to have a bag thrown over my head and then like drug into the car. It would be like an ambush situation, you know, one of those kind of things. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, but yeah, I have issues. We all have issues. But that is my, well, besides my Mountain Dew addiction, I really need to get over that too. So, um, I'm rambling on, um, but I wanted to show you something. Um, I got one of my shirts, see, one of my shirts, and I'm real happy with it, and where's the bag at? I got a few of my bags. Now, I'm, I just made a new design. <laughs> it's a tattoo design. Um, yeah, and now I want to order that one, too, and I've got the doll one coming in, so I'm going to have, like, 50 bags because... I can't control myself because I like all of them. You know, I made them. I like them. So, yeah. We're going to have an issue with that now. Here's one of the clowny bags. I've got two designs in those. And I am so happy with them. They're so nice and thick. And they're just awesome. Anyways. This is the clown bag. One of the clown bags. Anyways. There's another design. And then <laughs> this one right here I'm excited about. I love this one. I don't know why I like it so much. I don't know. <laughs> it's just something that I dreamt up and I like it. I like it. So when I get um when I get my tattoo one in, I am going to show that to you too. If you do go uh well, yeah. If you go over to my other shop, there's a link below. Um That'll take you to all my different social media areas. But A Haunted Heart is where um, I have all that stuff, you know. Um, all the bags and shirts and totes and things. And I just added three new bathing suits. I have a clown one. I have the Cupid doll-like one. And then I did the tattoo one. And they're one pieces for us, you know, more voluptuous women or that's, okay, I'm thick. <laughs> One piece, for sure. This chick don't wear two piece anymore, so. Um, yeah, not unless, you know, I drop 30 pounds in the next 
year, then I might talk, contemplate that again. But at this point in my life, not happening. So they're one piece bathing suits. I'm going to turn the camera around. Um, so see you later. See, I don't even know where to begin. I don't never I I never know where to begin. Okay, let's see. Um well, let's just begin with the dolls. Um because um these are the ones remember I had that box when I did um I don't know, I guess I went what was it when I went to the doll ladies um house and I got all the stuff. I had a box of like doll parts. And I was going to do some kind of jar or something. So I saved a few for myself and figured out what I was going to do as far as what I was going to part with. And how I was going to put them in the shop. You know, because you got a little tidbits here. It just kind of makes it a little harder. So I grouped things together. So these are in the shop as a trio. And then we have... This little booger by itself. And this one is in the shop. And then these two are listed together. Well, come on now. There you go. These two are listed together. And then I got these two together. And then we have these guys right here. And this chick right here. Well, there's one leg, one arm, and a torso and a head. So she's going to be minus a leg and an arm. But they don't even go together. They're just bits. So I finally went through the box and said, okay, what am I keeping? What am I getting rid of? And that's what I came up with. So those are now listed in the shop. Move this stuff over here. Okay. Oh, almost had an avalanche there. Okay, so moving on. There is a few things that I actually did already sell. Um, this being one of them. Um, these little guys. Right here. They're Japan cork stoppers. No chips or cracks, and I just thought they were cute. And, of course, what attracted me is this little dapper dude right here. I thought he was cute. I think I paid about $7.50 for them. Um, so, I was able to, I think, I was able to double my money with shipping. I don't know. Etsy's fees have went up, so I, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm paying anymore. But, um, yeah, these guys are already sold, and then I'll insert a clip next of the other item that I got that is sold. This guy right here is, um, I think he was like 19 inches. Looks like possibly may have been a pattern or something. I don't know. It, it definitely doesn't look like it's mass produced, but whoever did it did an excellent job. He's a big guy. Um, he sold the day after, um... I listed him so he didn't even make it to this video but he was awesome and um, modeled after Punch and Judy I might have paid like $30 something like that um, but he was awesome and he was a big one he was 19 inches and I've never seen anything like it so he was really really cool um, somebody did a great job on him and he was just in perfect condition he didn't have any stains or anything on him and he was just really well done so he was nice this guy right here um, very tempting to keep but I've already listed them in the shop I made myself I put a gun to my head <laughs> Because I have two others, not just like this, but similar, that I have in my um, curio cabinet. And this would be considered, I guess you would, uh, maybe Halloween? I don't know. Because it's a like a bright, orangey red, I guess you would call it, coloration. 
but he's got he's got the stink eye going on i mean it says made in the usa but he looks a little i don't know he looks a little angry just just a little bit i guess maybe it's the eyebrows or something he's kind of got that evil look i don't know maybe me in the morning something like that or maybe he's just a little tick that he keeps getting whacked in the nose i have no idea but he's got a little bit of paint loss on the back here other than that he's in excellent condition all of his graphics and everything are just in great shape so i was really happy to have him and i only paid 20 dollars for him so i mean that was even better um because these guys especially like this they're not real common not at all so um i snagged this this guy um well y'all hold on to your seats because <laughs> it's a little creepy it was a little creepy um but you know i love it i don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> look at him <laughs> his eyeballs are half gone and he looks like he, he <laughs> looks like his eyebrows have been done by me. <laughs> I struggle with eyebrows with my eye pencil. I'm, I'm just all over the place. So yeah, he's had some bad, bad deal, but he's, he's, yeah, he's been around. Um, yeah, <laughs> he has no body. <laughs> Um, and no back of his head either, but what's cool about it is you can see all the inner workings here. It's just really neat, and it's got that smell to it, that old smell. I paid way too much for him. I don't even feel comfortable telling you all how much I paid for him, but it's too much. It's too much money, but he's a really an old one, and honestly, I love the fact that he's in the shape he's in. I just love him even more because of it. Um, yeah, he's awesome, and he's gonna go in a vase or something, and that's how he gonna be displayed, so, <sighs> yeah, I got issues, guys, and then, well, well, I might as well just get the other thing I got out of the way, ta-da, isn't it fabulous, it's got a chip on its horn, other than that, it's in great condition. Um, I'm assuming that this hand puppet, the, the fabric was probably red. Thinking maybe somebody might have washed it and it got bleached or something. And that's where all this kind of stuff is coming from. But I don't know. I can't say that for sure. But having a pink devil, I just thought was the best thing in the world. And I've been looking for a devil hand puppet, and I haven't found one that I liked. And so this guy came along, and we had the pink. And he's just, he's so much more personable than your average devil. You know, he, he looks kind of sweet, kind of like you might want to date him or something. You know, kind of guy brings you flowers and chocolates. Not that he wants to, like, spear you and take you down to hell and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, he's, he's, he's a happy fella. I don't know. Um, I think maybe paper mache, um, thinking possibly. So he's an old dude and I am so happy to have him in my collection. Okay. Um, next thing we have these, these, there is four of them. They are brass, um, they say 015. All four of them say 015. They're like uh, brass laundry um, safety pins. And they may have been something issued like uh, military or something. I'm really unsure. But um, I got these because I thought they were cool. I just love... I, I like industrial too. I don't know if y'all knew that or not, but I do. I love the wire baskets and all that stuff. Um, this kind of goes right along with it. I have a thing for this kind of stuff. So I grabbed these. Um, I kept a few for myself and then I'm selling those. And then um, I got this guy right here. It is an antique. And it is a little piglet with a little clown on top. It's not very big, as you can see, 
but it's just perfect. It's um, porcelain. It's a bisque. I don't know what these initials on the bottom are for. I have no clue, but um, you know what I just noticed? You know, I said I never seen it before and died laughing on it, but this one's got one too, except in the front area. Let's see. No booty. Okay, so. <laughs> this is the second time now. Well, aren't you naughty? Anyways, I am just so weird. I need to censor myself more. Anyways. Okay, shut up. Um, Yeah, I just thought it was extremely cute. And I think it's an antique. It's German. Um... And I am pretty sure I paid s probably around $30 for this, something like that, which there's still room to make profit on it, but it's in perfect condition, and I just love it. Okay, then we have these. I paid $25 for the pair. They're the, it's that, um... What is it? Convex, I guess, glass, the bubble glass. But what's really cool is this frame has got um, like an enamel white. It feels kind of enamelish. I'm not sure if that's what it is. But um, this right here that's got the girl, um, I don't know what she's leaning on. I have no clue what that is. I can't tell. The reflection is horrible. And it, it was. it's a pain in the butt to try to take pictures of anything that's got glass over it. The backs are like that velvet with, uh, you know, the hanger and that attract every piece of hair, lint and everything else that you have in your house. So <laughs> I don't know why they did that, but they did. They put velvet on the bottoms and on the backs of everything. Maybe it, cause it helped it from not sliding or something. I, I, I'm not sure. But then we have this, this guy right here with this big mustache. Um, yeah, so I got both of them for $25, and the frames are just gorgeous. And, uh, yeah. So, I got those. I had to have them, of course. You know, that's one of them things. And then, what else did I get, guys? Oh, I got this family. I got this family for $18. We have Mama, Papa, and a little boy, and a little girl. And they're dollhouse dolls. They're um, porcelain. It looks to be, and I don't know what is up with the deal, but I don't know if you can tell through the plastic bag, but see that yarn that's wrapped around the arms and legs? They are movable, but they're all like that. And they're cool, and they're in great condition, so I grabbed those. It's a family. And, let's see, what else did I get? Oh, well, we have to show this guy. <laughs> I have been wanting just a toad. I, I have this thing for toads. I seen one yesterday out in my garden, and I thought they were all gone because we have snakes, too. And, you know, they eat. So, um, <clears throat> I figured my population was depleted. But there was a young one. He was hopping around. I was so excited to see him in my garden. But I had to have one. I just had to. And I didn't see any at the Oddities and Curiosities Expo. Um, so I got this guy. He's a plump little fella. And he's just perfect. And he's going to go in my Curiosities cabinet. He was $45. Um, that was, the shipping was included. And I got him from, um, it's a shop on Etsy. It's called Midwest Taxidermy. And so, yeah. He's, he's a cute little fella. I don't know why I like toads so much. I just do. <laughs> I just do. But yeah, Midwest Taxidermy. That's where I got him from. And he's just, he's perfect. He's a perfect fella. Oh, and this too. <laughs> I got the purse. We got the toad purse. Yeah. Isn't he cool? He's just a cool fella. You know? Got the zipper on the back here and the carry it. And you can, you know, get your change and stuff out of your out of your dead toad. <laughs> Gosh guys, you know, I'm surprised you are subscribed here because I'm just so weird. This guy right here is just so cute. Um 
I guess it's like a it's a rubber head. Um, his hands and feet are plastic. I don't know. I don't think they're celluloid. I don't know. I could be mistaken. The back is faded, as you can see. Um, so it must have been like in maybe a window where he's getting sunlight. But he is just so cute. Stinking cute. He was, um, there was two of them. I kept one, and I'm selling one. Um, but he's perfect other than the fading. He looks really good. Well, he's got a little dirt on his cheek. But other than that, he's in great condition. Um, he was more than likely probably a carnival prize that you could have won. Maybe back in the 50s, something like that. I don't know, but I'm just guessing that could possibly be it. I'm pretty sure I paid like maybe around $25 to $30 or something for both of them. Um, so yeah, I grabbed this. And then, what else? I think I have one more. Oh, this. One more thing. This right here. Um, apothecary jar with the ground glass stopper. This is the way it came. Um, it was $20, a little over $20, I think. But it's not medicine in there. It's actually full of sand dollars. Isn't that weird? It's, it's just weird. <laughs> but, yeah. It says castor oil. Um, I'm assuming it's that they said it was the original label on there. So I'm assuming that that's correct. Um, but yeah, that's how it came. And there's actually a little bit of a residual sand on the bottom here. So I'm not sure who had it, but it's got like, well, I don't even want to try to open it, but see how it's the lids attached, you know, to where, you know, that this wouldn't get lost. But yeah, it's just a, an old apothecary jar with a stopper and I thought it was cool so I grabbed it I have to list this yet though well guys I'm going to um be postponing the drawing for the giveaway until next week um hopefully the beginning of the week I don't know things have been a little bit crazy here lately and um so that's actually given you some more time so if you want to you can still um, go down in the description, hit my link, my link tree link. It'll take you to all my social media. Um, and just hit a haunted heart. Um, and then just follow the shop. That's all you have to do. Well, besides the fact of letting me know in the comments. So just let me know in the comments that you did that. And then you'll be entered to win a giveaway. Like one of my bags that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Something like that. And I hope you enjoyed my haul. And until next time, guys, see you later.